Lafayette. All right, Shalom. I want to start this lesson off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Akim that are in the truth and sincerity. All right, and I just want to do this lesson going into the kingdom of heaven, man, what we're fighting for. All right. Okay. That's what we're fighting for. All right, that's why this world is going down the drain because the kingdom of heaven can't be be established on the planet Earth if this wicked kingdom is still uh is still operating. All right, this, this wicked kingdom that we're living in, known as ba as known in the Bible as Babylon the Great, known today as America. All right, this wicked ass kingdom can't can't be operating. Or, or Salakia, the kingdom of heaven can't be established on the planet Earth while this place is still running. So that's why you see the whole world going to hell. That's why all hell is getting ready to break loose in America. Okay, and ultimately, the future of America will be thermonuclear destruction. All right, and when I say future, I mean near future. Okay, I'm not talking about a, a far off. All right, this thing is getting ready to happen. Lord willing, within <laughs> this year or next year, okay, that that's that's how close it is, man. All right, I'm trying to stress that point. That's how close it is. All right, Lord willing, that happens uh, this year or, or next year. Lord willing. All right, but that's how close it is. That's 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 what I'm trying to stress. This, this isn't going to happen in, in the future, man, and in, in the uh, the far future. This is going to happen in the near future. All right, the very near future. Okay, but the, after that, matter of fact, uh, I'll start off with, that just made me think of uh, uh, Second Edgers, I'm going to get it, Second Edgers 6 and 9, well, I start at 8, no, no, I start at 7, Second Edgers 6 and 7, then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? So this was Edris asking uh, the angel. Um, He was asking him pretty much when the kingdom of heaven was going to be established. That's pretty much what he was asking him if you have wisdom. Or if you have wisdom to understand. That's what he was asking the angel. Well, when, when, when was going to be the, the, the transition between... Uh, this this world, all right, which right now we're, we're this world is, is is um the B system, that's what this world is, all right, Babylon the Great. But what was gonna be the transition period between that time, uh, and the kingdom of heaven being established? Verse eight, and he answered and said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him. Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. So that's going back to uh, Genesis 25. All right, and that's really who 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 this um that's really what this story is all about, man. All right, because the heavenly Father created th this whole story. All right, he created. Essentially, we're living in a movie. All right. Like the elder apostles always mention, uh, uh, well, elder apostle Gabar, I, I, I remember uh, him mentioning uh, Shakespeare, that quote from Shakespeare where he said, the world is a stage and we're all players. That's the truth, man. We're essentially living in, 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 a, in a movie. And like they show you that on the Matrix, but they say it's a, uh, on the Matrix, they say it's a, uh, it's a simulation. But really, we're living in a movie. All right, and the heavenly Father, he he's the the ultimate di director. All right, he's the ultimate di director, and that's why the scripture says not not to go off on on a uh, into something else. But the, that's why the scripture says, uh, "In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path." The heavenly Father directs everything, man. He's the director. He's the ultimate director, and that's where you get the word uh, theater from, or or uh, theater from uh. From uh, the word Theo, which means uh, God. All right. 
So we're we're living in in a movie right now, man. And this whole movie, the, the the two main characters, or the good guy and the bad guy. The good guy is Jacob, which Jacob's name was was changed uh, to Israel. He he's the fourth. He's the progenitor of the Israelites. All right, Jacob. That's why uh, when you hear brothers, we always be saying, um, we always be saying, oh yeah, he's a Jake. Oh yeah, that that's a Jake. Oh, or we would just say uh, we would say Jake, which is short for Jacob. And which when we say Jake, we're referring to descendants of Jacob or the Israelites. All right, that's just a little uh, uh, Israelite lingo. Okay, but this whole story is is about Jacob and Esau, man. All right, and that's something that the wacky techie Christians they, they don't even mention. They don't even show you that that dynamic that's in the scriptures. They don't break that down. They don't they don't they don't stress the significance of these two characters. And when I say character, I, I'm not saying like it's fiction. These two uh, these two individuals, Jacob and Esau, they don't stress the, the significance of Jacob and Esau. All right. <laughs> That's literally what, what this whole movie is about since the garden, since going back to the garden. That serpent that was in the in the uh, in the garden uh is Esau. All right, that's that's what that serpent is. That serpent came back. That serpent was really a so-called white man with uh with melanin. Okay, because back back in the garden the so-called white man which are biblically biblically known as the Edomites once upon a time they had melanin. All right? They they oh they didn't always walk around uh with no melanin like they do uh today. All right, you see these so-called white people, they're really uh, red. They're, they're pink because they, they lack uh, pigmentation. All right, but there are, of course, there are uh, there are uh, some Edomites that, that have some uh, pigment, but overall, they're, they're all, uh, they all lack pigment. But once upon a time, they, they had melanin. All right, going back to uh, Genesis, going back to, to the garden. But yeah, this this, what this this whole story is about Jacob and Esau, man. But the wacky techie Christians, really, nobody outside of uh, outside of the Israelites, like 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 they say, uh, the one Westers, like nobody outside of the one Westers really stressed that that point. All right, you got you got nigga bug outs that they try to say, oh, oh, oh the white man is Japheth. All right, he, Esau Esau's a damn. Uh, <laughs> They be trying to see those, those damn uh, Ishmaelites or, or uh, them damn Ishmaelites over there in in the mountains or, or uh, Esau. Nobody outside of uh, the one Westerners really stress the significance of Jacob and Esau, which uh, Salaki, I'm gonna continue on. It says, uh, verse ten: the hand of man is betwixt the hill. Oh, Salaki, um. I'm, I'm going to read verse 9. It says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So Esau, the so-called white man, this is, the, this is the end of the world, all right? The end of his world. We're living in the end of, of America, all right? We're living in, in the end of the beast system, okay? The beast, all right? We're living in the end of this beast system, man. And you can clearly see it, man. It's clear as day. We're living in the end. All right. There's no uh, ifs, ands, or buts about it, man. All right, but uh, I'm gonna go back to Psalms. Psalms one twenty six. All right, and I'm gonna just go through the whole chapter. Uh, Psalms one twenty six and one. When the Lord Yahweh Shimei Shai turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. All right, so when the Lord, and this is this is we're living in this time where the Lord's about to turn again our captivity, man, because the Lord brought us uh, in America to serve uh, punishment. All right, the Lord has always put the nation of Israel into captivity when we went off, man. All right? That that's how the Lord uh that's how the Lord punishes us. He pits our enemies over us. He 
he uh puts us in the hand of our enemies. The less, that's how the Lord has always punished the nation of Israel, man. Because well, we're His, uh, we're His sons. We're, we're and daughters. We're, 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 his, we're His people, man. We're His children, so to speak. So the Lord, uh, that's how the Lord punishes us. All right. But it says we were like them that dream, because this is really just a dream, man. And going back to to the Matrix. All right, this is really just a bad dream that we're living in. Okay, America. This is just a this is just one one bad dream. <laughs> this this isn't reality, man. This isn't real life. And like like Elder Apostle Gabar uh before uh he did a lesson on that. How th this ain't living, man. And he made uh he 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 made mention of that um <laughs> that Marvin Gaye song. Alright? But this ain't living, man. We have not experienced real life. This is just a nightmare. But the kingdom of heaven, when we get those new bodies, all right, Lord willing, we be able to let when those missiles are falling down and we get beamed up on, on the so-called UFO, which are the chariots, the vehicles of the angels, and we get beamed up and we get those new bodies, those extraterrestrial uh, superhuman bodies, that's when real life is going to begin. Okay? That's when real life is going to begin. That's going to be the, the start of our world. All right. That's going to be that that's going that's going to be real life. The kingdom of heaven, that's going to be real life. This shit that we're living in right now ain't real life, man. All right. We're, we're working a damn uh not 9 to 5. Shit, even worse. We're working a damn 5 to to 4 in the morning. Whatever a uh, a uh, uh, crazy uh one of them uh, crazy ass midnight midnight shifts. This this is this ain't living, man. All right, we're we're slaves. We haven't experienced real life, man. But that's why we're in this true fighting. So Lord willing, our Lord Yahweh Shai, when He returns, that He He gives us life, man. Forevermore, all right, everlasting life. We're gonna be immortal in the kingdom of heaven, Lord willing. Lord willing, we make it on this side. Uh, verse 2. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord had done great things for them. So the heathen are going... <laughs> so first of all, man, we're going to be laughing and singing in the kingdom, man. <laughs> we're going to be singing in the kingdom, man. Because all, <laughs> all the shit we just went through on this side. All right, serving uh, slavery on this side. All right, overcoming the, the 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 beast and his mark and his image, overcoming that, being crowned by Yahweh Shai. <laughs> like it says in uh, Second Ezra's, uh, Second Ezra's two, and I believe around uh, the the forty, the forty of uh, forty fifth verse, if I'm not mistaken, around there. But Yahweh Shai himself is going to crown each member of the 144,000, man. Lord willing, Lord willing, we be a part of that. Lord willing, man. But that's going to be such an honor. So we we going to be laughing and singing, man. Because, <laughs> man, we just survived. We just survived the, the destruction of that singing. Verse 3, the Lord have done great things for them, for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. So right now we're sowing in tears, all right, doing these lessons, going out on the highways and byways, studying. We're sowing in tears right now, man. But we're going to reap in joy. <laughs> All right. When Yahweh Shai comes back with the angels and beam us up, Lord, well, then we're going we gonna to reap in joy, man. That's when we're going to reap the fruits of our labors. Okay. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. All right. And then... um. I'm going to also get 
Baruch chapter 4 verse 4 it says O Israel happy are we for things that are pleasing to the most high are made known unto us so as Israelites man we should really be happy to be an Israelite <laughs> alright did the Lord uh, created us <clears throat> so like did the Lord create us as an Israelite and not a, and not a, a, a another nation So like we had to get some water but it says uh, be of good cheer my people the memorial of Israel you were sold to the nations not for your destruction but because you moved the most high to wrath you were delivered unto the enemies for you provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to the most high so pretty much man the Lord put us through all this not for our destruction but because we we, we sinned against him all right so he the way that the Lord reacted was 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 right that was righteous that the Lord punished us in fact like it says in uh, Leviticus the 26th chapter he punished us less than our iniquities deserve man the Lord punished us less than we deserve all right because really we <laughs> We really deserve to be destroyed and done away with as a nation. All right, the way the way um, the way our our people have done Yahweh, why Yahweh shy? The way our, our people have disrespected Yahweh by Shemuel shy. 